everybody, this is Roxy, and I have my weekly Dollar Tree haul. This is a big one. I had to get a few things for the shower I'm putting on for my niece, and I've got to gear up for some craft sales, so I bought some um, things to make projects for that. And I have a craft idea that I want to make, plus they had some cool new stuff, and I grabbed some things for a movie. So, here I will just get right into it. Okay, so for my craft project, or this idea that I have, I bought some yellow balloons and a pack of the googly eyes. I have googly eyes, but I need a certain size, so many of a certain size, because my friend Nancy, who lives next door, um, was with me, and when she heard about my idea, she wants one too, so... Um, I got a pack for both of us. Um, I also found these. They're, they come two in a pack, but she, um, I gave her one of them. They're little cups for painting. And you can clean your brush. It's got like a little lip to clean your brush, and you can put water in there. It's kind of cute. And then it has a little stopper. So you could travel with that. I've tested the water, we tested on hers, and the stopper works really well. So, if you're going on some vacation still this summer and you want to take some art supplies for yourself or your kids, this will work really well. Um, you know, if you're at a picnic or taste spot or whatever, you need some water, bring it with you from wherever. So, long story short, it's a little convenient brush cleaner. Um, this is not craft related, but they are um, motion sensors. And I will tell you that they pick up a lot of motion that's not happening. Um, we actually had to duct tape over, I have another one, and we duct taped over it. It's still, I mean duct taped with this dark tape, and it still caught motion that kind of was like way, way far away on the other side of the room. And so we ended up having to turn them around and face the other way up on our refrigerator because <laughs> it drove my husband nuts pretty quickly. Um, anyway, so if you want to annoy somebody, it's a pretty darn good sensor. So I got two of those. I thought I'd give bring one to my mother-in-law's just to kind of maybe drive her nuts a little bit. So this is um, a new duct tape. I hadn't seen this one. I thought it was really pretty. I've used it a lot already, um, well, for the owl and then, you know, those window shield, or windshield covers. I used it the other day and I ripped it. I like, instead of unsuctioned the cup, I thought I could just pull it and it ripped it, so I had to fix that. But that thing works really well, the little windshield thing. Um, and we have had some ungodly hot and muggy days with a little bright sun. Um, I'm using these for um, my baker's twine. I had them in a narrower, um, you know, one of their white narrower things, containers. And it's like I had to pile some on top, so this fits perfectly. Um, the rolls fit perfectly this way. So I only need another one, got that. These are awesome. I'm hoping that they're kind of long. Let me see if I can get into this thing. Oh, the glue. They make it like... It's like eating lobster, trying to get into packaging anymore. I hate it. I don't eat lobster for that reason. I don't want to have to fight and argue with my food. I just want to eat it. Same with packages. Okay, so... Mm, they're not really big. Oh, they're stretchy, though. What's this one? I wish some were really big because I thought this would be cool. They're awfully stretchy though. They might be okay. I thought this would be cool for Fobonichi's, um, putting signatures in your Fobonichi because they're just such cool colors. And I bought those folders last week for that, for my Fobonichi. So I'm going to use these to hold the signatures in place. So I thought that was cool. So. 
got into that package. And these are with this same, this new line of back to school stuff. It's all really bright fluorescent y colors. So I thought these were kind of pretty. And um, I thought I'd try these gel pens. They look really bright. So we shall see how they work. All right, then I bought another one of these. Um, I'm using mine for my silhouette sketch pens and the tray, like I kept all the little trays and got rid of the packaging and then I put the, I have like three large trays like these and then two small trees trays and one large tray and the small tray fit in one of these. So I have two other ones and then I just needed this other one. But I had these in just a pouch, and I kind of like order, like, if I'm looking for a blue, I want to see all the blues together and pick which one I want, you know, instead of just kind of digging around and digging around. So I really wanted to keep them in order. When I had them in the pouch, I'd pick up the pouch and forget that they were all in there, you know what I mean? And they'd get all jumbled up, or I'd tip it upside down. or So this is going to be perfect, and it works really perfectly when you do that right. Huh? There. So that's that and then I found these are really cute. Um, they go with the composition books that have the owls and the little foxes. But look at how cute they got little foxes. These are really cute. They've got a ton of pencils and I happen to have an electronic pencil sharpener so that's a good thing to have. So I'm going to use these. I used to always use number twos for everything. I never used pens um, because I had a boss and, you know, I'm in editing and publishing and I had a boss that always said, don't put anything right in writing, you know, as in correspondence. Um, and always use a pencil that you can erase. <laughs> so he was kind of a slippery, sl slidey guy, but he... He ran the whole um, plant and publishing company that we were. I was at. Well, the plant, I should say. I was in um, printing first, and he had to deal with a lot of. He had to deal with the company end of it and the unions and all points in between, and it was it could get hairy, you know. Because I'm not saying anything against unions, but. Um, it gets real tricky when you're dealing with unions and companies and trying to make everybody happy. So, anyways, long story short, that was my boss, and he gave me some good advice. I've never put anything in writing that I don't want somebody to, you know, keep. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you're dealing with legal stuff or whatever. Anyways, back to my haul. These are gorgeous. I think, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, I just think they're so pretty. Aren't they cool? They're like, can you see that they're three-dimensional? They're just beautiful. And these are really pretty. And they, they're like real butter, you know, pictures of butterflies, I suppose. But we have a monarch festival in August. It's when the, the butterflies migrate from here down to Mexico and the, our Mexican population puts on this big huge monarch festival at Lake Nokomis in Minneapolis and Lake Nokomis is one of the prettier lakes in the Twin Cities and they even have planted a, a butterfly garden there um, and I learned this year that milkweed if we all grew milkweed in our um, yards the butterfly population could come back because it's like 80% down what it, sh what it was like 20 years ago, I think it is. So we really have to, I mean, it's getting dangerously low, especially the monarchs. But look at how pretty these are. I think that's a monarch. Maybe that one's, I don't know. I don't know my butterflies that well. Anyway, so I thought I could do something maybe for the monarch festival. I don't know. Or you know how everybody's making these fairy wreaths around their head? Which, by the way, I had um, one of those for my wedding veil. 
It was a wreath of flowers with um, veil coming off it. But I'm doing my niece's shower and I'm kind of playing around with making a wreath for her. I don't know. It might be too cornball, but I'll find a, something to do with these. If not, just look at them. You know what would be cool, now that I'm thinking, is to get a shadow box and put these in with stick pins. I might just do that. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Because my husband collects pictures of, like, insects and butterflies. Ooh, I just, okay. Man, that just came. That's cool. I love it. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you how I do it, too, because that's really a cool idea, I think. We'll see how it works out. Okay, and then I found these Lisa Frank um, stickers. They're just really bright and cheery. I totally missed this when I was too old for this. I don't even remember ever seeing any of this in the 80s, but everybody that sees it goes, oh, Lisa Frank! Everybody that is, that's in their 20s or 30s. So these are cute little spotty Dalmatians. I feel like I've seen that. This is wild. So, I mean, this is fun to just slather a package. I did that for Nasta Nastasha. Natasha with the minions. So, anyways, there's Lisa Frank. That was like a fun find. And these will be cute for some greeting cards. I love the dog. How cute is that? Isn't that cute? So, oh my god, I'm so excited about that. Butterfly shadow box. Cool, that'll be fun. Okay, and these are really cute. Just some barbecue. These would be cute for like a mini album or your planner. I love the tennis shoes. I used to wear these. Every summer I bought a pair and then I'd wear them out by the end of the summer. And boy, would they stink. Because as a kid, you never want to wear socks. I mean, my mom, I'd have to put them out on the porch. But I did not care. All right, so that's that and too much information. Now, these are the gorgeous composition notebooks. And I'm going to keep one. Keep one of these. I love that. I was too excited when I saw them. Because I haven't seen them, and I've seen everybody haul them. And I'm like, i got to get that owl and fox one. So I got it. Plus the pencils. So I'm going to keep that one. And then I'm going to decorate and sell the rest of these at craft sales. So I might get more. I'm going to I'm gonna quick do a couple and see how they... But isn't that pretty? Oh, there's some really pretty. And I just thought this would be a great background for collaging or mixed media. As will this. That's really pretty. That's the scarf I bought. I love it. It's very pretty. And I got a lot of compliments on my scarf. All right, so then for the shower, oops, sad little camera. It's falling down because it's a little flamingo. Did I show you my flamingo, right? He is the best little invention. I stick his head. My camera is too heavy for this cheapy tripod. It's actually not a cheap tripod, but there, okay. I stick his head under where the camera should stay and it stays. Alright, um, I went to two Dollar Trees yesterday because I'm trying to find those chalk markers. Nobody has them. I'm never going to find them. I'm so mad and so bummed. But anyways, I did find these. They have a bunch of different patterns. Like they have their their new chevron. Um, they've got the duct tape in the chevron. Kind of lighter colors. They have this. They had balloons. They had um, confetti. But I thought this was really pretty for the shower. And then I have a couple trays that I need to put these on. And they'll probably be, well, I think I need a little bigger ones, but I can put two on there. I don't care. But for a buck, you can't, I mean, those are like three, four, five dollars at Joann's or whatever. And then these, I already bought some of these. I'm just using these for the prize, like the for the ladies to win little prizes at the shower. For the games we're going to be doing. And then my friend found this and I had to get one. This is for washing your windshield inside your car. And I don't know if you know this, but if you ever see kind of a film in your windshield like you've been smoking in there, that is gas is coming off from the vinyl inside. 
I happen to be allergic to it, and a lot of people are. Like, I a guy told me about it, and he said, you can look up the whole phenomenon, on, or it's, it's a gas that gives off. I think BMW did a study on it, and in their case, it was leather, the combination of leather seats and a vinyl dashboard that created this gas. But now they're saying the vinyl itself creates this gas just because it's in an enclosed thing. And that's, a lot of people are allergic to it. I would get in the car and start getting all the clumped, I call it. It's where you're, you know, you're, when you're having an allergic reaction, your cilia and your lungs and whatnot create, they start going to town and create mucus to fight this anti, um, thing that's not, you know, it knows it's allergic to or whatever. I'm not a doctor, so, you know, I kind of describe things goofy. But anyways, that's what was happening. And he said, he told me, because he has COPD and all this stuff, and and he told me what it was. And so now, he said, all you got to do is wash your windshield, and you won't have the problem. And it was absolutely true. So we have a van and a truck that have huge windshields, and it's kind of hard to get in there. And, you know, so I thought this would be perfect. So then I also, I had one of these on hand, one of their dollar bottles, so I'm just going to put Windex in this, or glass cleaner, because you do have to use glass cleaner or water. But water will freeze in Minnesota here in the winter, so I'm just going to put Windex. So we have a handy little windshield cleaner. So anybody with allergies, you learn something new. Because seriously, I would get in the car and start getting sick. It was when we had our... Um, Kia that had leather interior and vinyl, and then my girlfriend's Lexus and um, my husband's truck. Anytime I'd get any of those vehicles, I'd get super sick. Well, now I'm getting in my van and still getting sick. And um, I checked it again online, and it is, they do think it's just period the vinyl because it's, you know, it's gas, basically, petroleum. So I got some goodies for a movie that we're going to go to today. And then this is Scrubby's favorite. And then I bought these, and these are really good. I went to another store after, and I was so hungry. Well, I wasn't hungry. I just really wanted to try them, and they're really good. And they're cute. They're like little, you get three bags of this. And there's one bag left. Oopsie. So that will tide me over to the Junior Mints or the Swedish Fish. And then I bought another one of these because I haven't seen them anywhere else. And I just thought it would be cute to have two. They're cute little, you know, like a little snack for afternoon or for lunch. I put my hubby's um, fruit in here. And he actually uses, uses the sandwich container because he kind of likes those minions too. Then, look what I found. It was the only one in the whole bin of these things. So... I've not seen it anywhere else yet, but when I popped, I saw his little eyes sticking out, or hers. So I, like, dug through the whole thing, and that was the only one that had, that they had, so. It's kind of weird. Because they have the, you know, those, like, the Hawaiian flowers, and the slice of lemon or orange, whatever it is, and then the other, there's like three or four different kinds they have. I bought the one that's, what is it called, a pluminary or a plumerian? That one Hawaiian flower, I bought that. And so then when I saw this, I had to have it. I love the cow. These, I, tr I buy those little bags of, they come in pink, blue, or white. And I like them because you can leave them in the bottom of the waste basket, like in the bathroom, and then put a new one on top, you know. But our, our waste basket is oval, and it's, the bags just are not long enough to stay on, so it drives everybody nuts. Um, so I thought I'd try these. You don't get as many, and they don't, um, I don't know, they should be all right. They have a self, what do they call it, with flap ties. So I wonder, I kind of wondered what that was. So we'll see. But see, I can still put this in the bottom of the, oops, in the waste basket. <clears throat> 
Oh, okay. These I'm telling you to believe when I say 